everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to my channel. Today, very exciting, we have our next update for the Fantastic Ladies collaboration of Beauty A to Z. 26 items, one ruled in for each letter of the alphabet. Last time I had finished up five, I have made some very good progress. I have finished more items, not all of the items I intended to for the last update, but that is okay. So we have a lot to get through, so of course I will let you guys know what's already been finished, what the current progress is, and the empties that I have this month as well. Of course, before we dive into it too far, I do have a giveaway going on right now. Uh, we're going to go for just a little bit longer for when you guys are seeing this video. So again, check out my skin is in update 6. There's a giveaway included on that. And of course, we are celebrating the launch of Ready, Set, Pan on Instagram. So if you want more behind the scenes sneak peeks when I finish like some of this stuff up, I'll post that nail polish swatch pictures, video all of that good stuff. So without further ado, with those announcements done, let's just get into this update. We're going to start with the dead. It's kind of a fail product for me this month. This is my Aromatherapy Associates, the de-stress muscle gel for focusing and soothing. And oh, very bright, but I was there and I was still there. I used it maybe twice. I just haven't gone into a routine with this, but we'll just keep going. But for now, not so much. B was finished last time, so let's move on to C, which was one of the items that I wanted to have finished for this month. Little 15 milliliter size of the Pixie Glow Mud Cleanser, which I really did enjoy. If we take a look at the back here, that line is where I was last time, so really not much left in it. And I got this finished off. It kind of took me a little bit because I wasn't in a huge hurry to finish this off. Plus, I was making a really good dent in my skin as in cleanser, which we've already seen the update for that. But another cleanser is done. So C, off the list. D is the Darfin. This is their serum here. Just a tiny little bit of progress that I've made from this line to this line. It's a little bit more than last month. Um, I sometimes use this at night uh, when I was using my retinal moisturizer because I'm not going to use a retinal serum and a retinal moisturizer at night. So sometimes I use this one. Sometimes I use the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic serum. So I made a tiny little dent on this. Again, this isn't going to take long to finish up if I actually focus on it on it, but I've got other serums going on, so this is a little bit lower down on the priority list at the moment. E was finished last month, so then we're going to move on to F. F, of course, is the Garnier Fructus. There's my F. This was their papaya um, one-minute mask. Oh, that's I was using this as a leave-in treatment hair mask after the shower, and it wasn't doing very good things for my hair, so I was going to try using it as a conditioner this month. And I did also have a recommendation from one of you, thank you, um, to use it as a shaving gel, um, except I'm very bad with shaving, and I didn't try it. I ended up just using it as a conditioner, but thank you for that comment. I did keep it in mind. It was working okay enough as a conditioner. And this was one of my goals to finish, and it is done. Empty, which is great, because this has been in for a very long time. Those are my marks there, so that's where I was last time. That's all I used as a hair mask, and then I used all of that as my conditioner. And that did take me most of the month to do that. I am showering more often, and I feel like I have to wash my hair a lot more often right now. Probably because of the summer, the heat, you know, wearing sunscreen, sometimes wearing mosquito repellent, because those don't like to get ya. Plus, sweating a lot because it's summer. So I'm showering more often, which is part of the reason why some of these items I think are moving a little bit faster than others, which, not a bad thing. But this guy, done. H is my... Manicadar Hydrating Facial Mist. And you guys can see there's still stuff at the bottom, even though I wanted to have this done for this update. Um, and I, I did, I did some. Um, I was very bad at using this for like the first two, two and a half weeks, which is not great when you're updating every month. And then I got from there to there, which is still good progress, similar to what I did the previous month, but just it, 
I wanted it done and there's not much left in there at all. It's just this little bit at the end. The sprayer isn't the best either because like you'll go in because you're going to do several sprays across the face and it kind of gets stuck. So problem of course, got to remember to use it and so, so hopefully next time. Hopefully next time. This product was also not so good this month. The Peter Thomas Roth, this is their instant firming eye mask treatment thing. Uh, no marks on this because it's completely black packaging. I cannot see through it. Um, there's a bunch of air in here too, so I can't just push it out. I didn't use it very much because I was very bad at remembering to use this. Uh, a couple of reasons why that was. Um, I did do some more showers in the morning this month, and so I'll put on like a face mask before that and then rinse that off in the shower, and obviously this is a mask that kind of, or treatment that stays on. So unless I was using something that was like, it absorbs in and you don't have to rinse it off in the morning, I forgot to use this. And I generally tend to mask at night, so it just, I fell out of routine with it. I probably have about half of this bottle left. It's just a five milliliter sample size, but it's taking a while. And again, you are supposed to remain expressionless while you have this on. It's supposed to dry in uh, three to seven minutes. So it's, it's, ugh. it's a little bit on the difficult side to work with. Does it do something? I think it does something, but hard to get in the routine. J was another item I wanted to get done. This was the J Lo Beauty, uh, that blockbuster wonder cream. So this was one of my moisturizers. And uh, I still don't like this. I did not have much left. Super reflective packaging. Uh, that's where I was, I got it done, it is done. J Lo Beauty, I'm not really interested in this brand based on my experience with this guy. And just yeah. interesting kind of, applicator they're not really an applicator once you push the product out of um but yeah it was just i wasn't a big fan of the scent of this and it was just fine as a product but it's done and that's what matters for this project okay full-sized item this was full size when i started the project and as you guys know from last month i got all the way down to there that's where the product started. So it's not like I had product up here that I had used previously. Uh, so just this tiny little bit, it did not take me very long at all to finish it off. So the Koa Life Mist Me Rejuvenating Toner, I should probably tell you what it is, that is done. And that is for the letter K. That was also one of my goals. L is for Laneige, the classic sleeping mask in the shade Berry. Uh, you guys will be seeing where I was last time. And again, I use this basically every single night. It just takes me a very long time to go through these tiny little things, even though they're hollow on the bottom. There's not a whole lot of product in here. There is only three grams of lip mask. Whew, it's gonna take me forever to go through these. But where I'm at now is way down here. So I think I'm getting lower in there, maybe getting towards the bottom, hard to tell. Um, I have a video for you guys so you can see it as well. Uh, I do enjoy the berry scent, I enjoy the mask, it's just I wish it was in a tube rather than a pot that you have to stick your fingers in. But this is right before bed so you do have clean hands before bed, or at least I do after you do all of your skincare and body care and all of that, but slow progress is slow progress. For M, Josie Marin 100% Argon Oil. Despite being only 15 milliliters, this is taking me a long time because again, I've opted to use it as one of the many ways you can as an additional hydrating under eye step because this bottle is stupid expensive. Um, using it as an under eye hydrator at the end of my skincare routine at night, and I'm very bad at using this every night. I probably only used it a quarter to a third of the days this month, from there to there. Uh, for comparison, this was the previous month. It was full all the way to the top, so not the best. Oh, there's a little bit in there, but that's where I've gone to, so it's just slow moving, but when I remember to use it, I do like it. I'm not gonna go out my way to repurchase this in the future, but it's fine. And of course, you guys will remember the story from the last update. If you haven't, make sure you check out that video, the Clarins Hand and Nail Treatment Balm. That, of course, was decanted into this little container that I had. Um, and of course, making some progress on this. Slow, but 
we're getting steady. We're getting steady progress. Uh, this is where I'm at now. So you'll notice I've hit pan at the bottom down there. There's not a whole lot left in there. Um, the whole bottle originally was five, eight. Originally the bottle was eight milliliters. So, you know, I'm, I'm getting down there. I tend to use this kind of like on my arms. I think I demoed it last time, but just in case, I just kind of go like that and rub it in over all of the dark spots. So took a little bit much that time. It's okay, I'm trying to use it up. We'll get all the dark spots on my arms. Does it do anything? Probably not, probably not. Um, but I'm using it up and that's a good thing. Oh, it's been tough. Um, o is my scalp and body scrub. As I discovered, I love this as a body scrub. But it seems uh, wasteful to use this as a body scrub because it's a scalp scrub. It's, just, it's a thing in my head. But ugh. progress is slow on this. I had used a, just a few times this particular month. Um, I tend to try to use this right in the scalp bag here. That seems to be somewhat effective-ish. Yeah, and it's ugh. it's. It's progress, which is good. So we made more movement than last time. Again, I'll have the video up so you can see it better. But I just, I just don't use scalp scrubs. They're not in my routine, even though I think that might be good for me. I just, I can't, I just can't do it. But that's okay, we'll keep, we'll keep practicing. We'll keep giving it more of a shot. And it doesn't seem to want to close anymore. So that's, that's always fun as well. You can see that bit of a gap there. This is for letter P. So this is the Herbivore Pink Cloud uh, Soft Moisture Cream Sample. And um, I still have not touched this one yet. And um, might not touch in the next month either. We'll kind of see again. This one will get used eventually. Okay, time for a product that you cannot tell any difference in the Quo Beauty Precision Liquid Liner. Liquid Precision Marker. Sorry. Uh, again, love this eyeliner. Not wearing it today because, again, I'm, just, I'm trying to get some good usage on this eyeshadow that I'm currently wearing. Um, it's in another project. But... Uh, <laughs> That works on this one. I didn't use it very much this last month. I've been focused on other eyeliners. I only used it three times, which is really not great. That's not even once a week. So based on what I've done in the project so far, that brings me to a total of 10 uses on this liner, which is not very great, but again, I've just got a lot of liners that I'm trying to work through. And especially with this eyeshadow, which I've been trying to wear a lot, and I've been I've been better, guys, from a deck of panning. Nice little spoiler sneak peek for deck of panning. Um, but this doesn't go with this look. So I need to use the black liquid liner for it. So that's kind of slowing down some of my progress. And again, it depends on what I've been rolling in for pan those eyeshadows as well. So slowly. Or is this tiny sample of the Josie Marin? This is their Argan Pro Retinol Eye Cream. Two milliliters product in here. I'm saving this in case we do any traveling because this little pack took me like a week to go through. So nice and handy for that. But no progress on this guy yet. However, this guy for S, tons of progress. This is the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy C Soul uh, Refreshing Ultimate Moisture Body Cream. For those of you who are caught up on my Skin is In project, you guys know that I had rolled in what was technically a face mask as my body moisturization product because my face did not like it. Um, so I've made very good progress because the face mask obviously is a lot smaller. So I've been able to get a lot of use out of this. So I went from here all the way down to here. I'm pretty pleased with myself. I don't know though. The, is it just the aromatherapy body butters or is it just this one particular one? I'm having a harder time squeezing this down and trying to like even down here trying to squeeze it out. It's taking much more effort than other body creams that I've used from Bath and Body Works. Let me know if that's at your experience down in the comments below. I would love to know um, because I'm thinking I may have to cut into this. Well, I always cut into them anyway, but I might have to cut into it sooner and then have a lot more to scoop out, decant it, put another container because there's not much left. And ugh, I wanna make sure I get it all. So, oh, it smells so good. 
Um, it's the jasmine and eucalyptus scent, and I really am enjoying it. It is a little bit more neutral, but because now I'm back to my regular scheduled programming with Skin Is In, having a body butter in the project for this particular month, this is going to take a little bit of a back seat, I anticipate. So even though I'm really close to the end, I don't think I'm going to be making much, if any, progress on it next month. T was done last month, as was the letter U, so we're making very good progress there. Uh, that brings us to V. Uh, v, of course, is my Skylar fragrance in Vanilla Skies. Um, I was a little bit hesitant about this up front because it is a very vanilla scent, um, which, like, you know, in theory for me is more fall, but I've been enjoying this. Um, I didn't use it last time, so this is what you're seeing is the last month of progress there, and I did use it six times to make that progress. Again, if you haven't caught my other videos, fragrance for me, I can't wear a lot of it. It was literally one spray on one wrist, do a little of this, and that's it. This one, I don't think I reapply during the day, so uh, it, it lasts pretty well. Ugh, I do like it though. So progress now, which is great. Um, I was focused on other fragrances, but this one might take a little bit more priority in the next month. W is another untouched product from Laneige, the Water Bank Blue Cream Moisturizer. Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. Sorry, I'm missing a word there. Haven't touched this yet, saving it for travel. Okay, guys. Um, story time. Story time. Uh, X. If you caught my last update, you already know what's going on. If this is the first video you're tuning in for in this project, I had rolled in the complex, there's my X because it was hard to find, uh, complex culture eyeshadow palette. This is in full-time eyeshadow palette edit three, but it looks like this. Um, as of the last update, I had worn it once, which was to film the last update video. I did the pinks as a look. And I, I honestly wasn't thrilled. I enjoyed this one here, didn't like these. So just a couple days after I had filmed that video, I went in with these purples and they're gorgeous. They're so pretty, especially this violet ice shade down here. I enjoyed it, except, mm, no, this formula, it's a no. Um, it is patchy. It is difficult to work with. Uh, it doesn't stay well on the eyes. And I do use an eyeshadow primer. So I didn't even use, like these browns are completely untouched. So I did one previous month, one this month for a total of two uses on the project. And this is going to be decluttered, which you'll see in my next declutter video. This palette will be featured as one of the items. And it does make me sad. But on the other hand, I've got so many eyeshadow palettes. No point wasting my time with something. Like, it's not like this palette is particularly unique either. It's just, it's a basic palette. And there's some stuff I really like in theory, but with two uses on it, I, I just know. So, sorry I didn't have that information figured out for you guys last month. So what I've decided to do, because I've only gone two uses on this guy, and it's gonna be decluttered, I've actually opted to replace this item because we still have a fair amount of time left in this project and we might as well keep the ball rolling. What I've decided to replace it with, I can't believe I didn't think of this before going to Complex Culture, but that is actually Kate Somerville, which doesn't have the X there, but what does have the X is Exfoliate. This is her full size. This is the intensive exfoliating treatment. It has been in my shower for a very, very long time. Um, and I have used it a bit. My husband has used it a bit as well, but I have been using other scrubby exfoliating type products. And when this has had some time to settle, I am starting about here. I have been using other products for that kind of exfoliating purpose. So, you know, We'll get there, but I have a lot to go. 60 milliliters of product in here. It has been open for more than a year, which is the shelf expiry, but it still seems to be fine. So it is a very green color, which is kind of surprising in the shower. And it, it is intense. 
It is intense. I didn't. I don't like this if it's not in the shower. There's something about being in the shower with the steam and the hot water. This is fine for me. And they do have a more like gentle, sensitive skin version of this. But this is going to be the new X. So this is going to replace the complex culture. Again, you will see this in a, in a declutter video coming soon. And for now, we'll just move on and have this in the project from now on. All right, why? Use to the people, the kale and green tea, spinach, vitamins, superfood cleanser. Long name. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So I was really focused on the cleanser that is in Skin is In because it's a full-size cleanser. It's a charcoal-based cleanser. And then I also had the Pixie cleanser in there, which I didn't finish until too long ago. And then once that was done, I kept forgetting to pull this into the shower for like a week. So, um, I used it once. I think I used too much product because, again, this doesn't have anything up top. It just comes right out. Um, so, if we can get this lined up again for you guys here. Somewhat. There we go. That's the progress I have made. <laughs> so, not great. Not great. But now that I just have two cleansers going on right now. So this one and the one that is in skin is in, so much more exciting, and I should be able to focus and start making some more substantial progress on both of them. And finally for Zed, uh, this is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. Uh, still haven't touched it. It's still way up here. Um, I've just had so many serums that I'm working on in Skin is In, in the Advent Calendar Project Pan. I, this, there's more serums. There's more serums coming, some small little sample sizes. I will get to this one eventually. <laughs> I'll get there. Um, and depending on how my husband is progressing with his serum that he's currently working on on his own, I may have him helping me with this one as well because it's probably good for him too. But at this point, no progress. So what that brings me to, that brings me to four items that I have not touched yet in this project and four items that I have finished, which brings me to a total of nine. Additionally, I do have one item that is decluttered and a new replacement coming in. So you know what, we're, we're moving along, right? Last month was a lot of like, gimme kind of products. Um, so this was not necessarily all give me products. So that is very exciting. And as a reminder, these were the four items that I had finished off. So C, J, K, and F. Now, in terms of goals for next month, it in part depends on um, hopefully going to see family in Manitoba. It's going to be either July or August. So depending on when that trip is, some of the stuff may get used be, and be brought. And if it's not until August, then obviously we'll have another update before then in which some of those items may remain untouched. So do keep that in mind. But but I do have five items that at this point I'm thinking I do want to have done for next month. Um, obviously starting with the one I didn't finish for this update. So for H, again, the reminder, just this little bit of product left. Then for N, just that little bit for the dark spot correcting treatment thingy mabob. I do want to see if I can finish way off. Like there is not much left in there. That's just going to be a couple more hair scrubs or scalp scrubs. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get that finished off. R, the Josie Marin, the Pro Retinol Argan Cream Foil Packet. I'm thinking about saving this one for Winnipeg or I might just use it up because I, I'm thinking knowing myself even though I know this is a week's worth of product in there I'm gonna want more than that to have a backup so I don't want out so maybe I'll just use it anyway so this one kind of dependent and finally for V the Skylar Vanilla Skies fragrance and again that was my progress with six uses on it so far and um oh I, I like that yeah, I do. I enjoy it. And because I'm enjoying it, I mean, why not? We might as well keep going with it. But those are the five that I'm anticipating or at least planning on finishing. Again, if I make any other decent progress on anything, right? So I could potentially finish my Bath and Body Works, but again, I am focused on their lotions, but it could be. It could very easily be done for the next update if I chose to prioritize it. 
But that is everything for today's video. So thank you so much for joining me today. And we will see how much progress I am able to make in the next month. Hopefully have these five finished good dents on the stuff over here. So I'll have lots to share with you guys. And remember, we are currently finished nine of the 26 items. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.